Hi, so I want to resume uh, our work with the 25-shot library. I just reopened Adobe Premiere Pro and I can see my recent project here. This takes me to my master folder, so let's see if things will reopen. I'll double click. I guess a single click worked fine. And you'll see that Adobe is finding my clips. It's about to connect with everything. That's why once you make a project, you don't want to move around your your clips. Um, I'm going to move my bin out of the way, and let's pretend now that I have my 25 shots here. Okay, I recognize these are not 25, but I'm going to pretend I do. In this section here, this is my uh, timeline, and this is my program monitor. So I did my rough edit. Open my bin again. I did my rough edit to clips. I double clicked them. Oops, seem to be a little slow today. Here we go. Um, and I figured out exactly what piece I want to use. I used endpoints. I dragged. They got to the right spot I wanted to be. I used out points. And you can insert this into the timeline a couple different ways. If I, you'll notice the playhead for the timeline is right here. If I just push the period, it instantly put in that clip. The other thing I can do is I can uh, go ahead and drag it in. Or if I wanted to, I could just add the video. Or I could, if I wanted to, just drag the audio in. Maybe I don't have any audio with this clip. So anyway, those are the basics. Um, let me run through the timeline a little bit more. This is the video track, and this is where um, I'm seeing all the images I shot. This is the audio track, and typically the audio will go right in with the video. Now I need to double check things because it seems like I don't have audio with things, but We'll figure that out in a bit. Um, you can have as many audio tracks as you want and as many video tracks as you want. You could do things like stack them. So here's my main clip. This is me. And as we go down the timeline, you'll see what happens. We just instantly change. Okay. And then we'll go back to me. All right. So that's some pretty basic editing. Um, I can split clips. I can use all these tools. This is the razor tool. And you'll see it gives me a little razor blade. And I can now split this clip. And I've made two. I could, if I wanted to, now move one over here. I can move these all around. And a really neat thing is that I'm never messing up my original clips. I always have my original clips in the bin. So if I do something and I decide, gee, I don't really like this, I can just get rid of this clip, delete it, and go back to my original bin, get my clip back in, because I still have it. Okay. Um, this little mark here tells me that it's been used. Used one time, used two times. If it doesn't have that little mark, I haven't used it. That's very helpful if you have a lot of clips to look through and you can't quite remember what you've used and what you haven't. This icon right here is the actual sequence itself. So if something happened like I closed my sequence, and I said, gee, where's my timeline? I don't have anything to work on. I can just double click this and now I have it right back again. So that's really helpful. I save a lot, even though frequently you'll see an automatic save pop up on your window, I still save. Um, if, so there's a lot of more advanced tools and I'm not going to do those right now. I will stick with the razor tool, the selection tool. If you want to, you know, click off something, just click the gray. And there are three colors to watch for up here. This is the yellow. And the yellow is, uh, you know, it means the video is in and it's not fully rendered. Red um, means you've made some major change to things and it absolutely has to be rendered. 
and green means it's all rendered and ready to go. Rendering is the process of taking this, this information here, right, this, this clip, and totally digitizing it so it totally, totally plays. I know it's already digital, so it's not really digitizing it, but it's going to make it totally, totally play. Um, so what you're doing for this task, it's pretty simple, is you are going to export each of these clips as individual video files. Here's the easiest thing to do. Space them so they are a little bit apart. And if you find they like, oh man, it like sticks, right? You can just feel that magnetic thing. Just turn the magnet off. That's called snapping. Use the S key. S will turn it on. S will turn it off. Turn it off, and that way it's just easier to pull them apart. See how now I can slide it and it won't attach to the others? Okay. Um, go up to Sequence, and let's render the entire work area. This is only going to take me a couple seconds, so it should take you even less than that. Whoops, for some reason we got stuck there. Okay, here we go. My computer feels a little slow today, but I'm quite optimistic we will be speeding up. Okay, so now I've rendered my whole thing. It plays automatically, and it's ready to go. I want to now export each of these clips individually. I'm just going to save really quick. And this little thing defines my work area. So what I want to do is drag these two, and they will like snap right to there. See that little triangle show up down here? Watch. Okay, see how that white triangle popped there? That means it is snapped, it's totally lined up. Okay, go up to File, Export, Media. I want to match the sequence settings. It means I don't want to change anything. I want to keep it just as I shot it. All right, and I want to decide where this will go. All right, so I want to pick an output name for this clip, and I'm going to just call this clip, um, oh, uh, we already named them, right, by shot type, so maybe this is my medium. And maybe it's the first medium of three, okay? Now, here's the key thing. This is... I'm exporting this, okay? This is my video export, so I need to get to the right place. So go to Desktop, find my master folder, 2014, 09, 25 shots, video exports. Here's where my finished pieces are going to go, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that. Now it's going to be medium and it's going to be an AVI file, which means it is uncompressed. It's going to be a full-blown file. And that's fine. Um, yours might say MOV, but either way works. Okay, now I don't think I need to do anything else. The output, I can see where it's going to go. I can see that it's 1920, 29.97 frames, and the quality is 100. And that's just what I want. If the quality was less than 100, it means I compressed it, but I'm not compressing this. Okay. So I could export this, but then that's going to tie me up right away. So I'm going to queue it, and I'm going to use a program called Adobe Media Encoder. So let me just queue this. You'll see what happens. I'm about to open another program. I'm not moving anything. It's doing this automatically. First time you load a program, it's always a little slower. Let me just close this a little bit so you can see what it's going to look like in your screen. Try to get it full frame. Okay, and here's my first piece. Okay, so I have now just lined it up. I'm going to do it again, and you can do this. You can just minimize it. But this time I need to drag this to there and this to there. I want to outline my next clip. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing, export media, and this one I'm going to call close up one. It's going to put it in video exports. I don't have to change that again, and I'm going to save that. Everything else is, whoops, 
I'll match sequence settings. Everything else is ready to go. And I'll cue that one. Okay. I don't even need to look at Adobe a Media Encoder, but I will for giggles. You'll see that I've put my second one up there. All right. Let's do my third one. Drag this over here. This may seem like a ton of work, but it's actually not going to take you long at all. Okay. My third one's ready to go. I'm green across everything. File, export, media, uh, match sequence settings. We'll call this one um, wide. I don't even know if it's a wide shot. Make sure video exports. I haven't changed it. Save. And am I good to go? And I'm going to cue that one. So I'm going to do that for all my shots, and you know maybe you're going to start it Friday, maybe it'll take you Monday, doesn't matter. And now I have all my shots lined up, and I'm going to go ahead and start encoding. Let me just make sure you can see this. Sneak that up there. So I'm going to do this when I have a little bit of time, okay? And I'll just go ahead and run that, and you'll see it's encoding my first one. It's going to move right on to my second one. Here goes number two. And you can see if I move this over, you can see it's done, and that's done. And those are ready to go. It makes a nice little sound. Let's minimize this. I'll move this out of my way. Let's look in my master folder. 014, 09, shots, video exports, and there's my stuff. Okay, those are my finished products. This is my video clip. And voila, this is going to be a like eight second clip. Okay, and that is the process. Um, you just have to really follow those steps and make sure you keep moving this along. If you forget to move this, then you'll be exporting two at once, and you don't want to do that. You want 25 files when you're all done. That's how you get an A. Okay, if you have any questions at all, absolutely ask.